I'm Jade, and I think the world needs more houseplants, like a lot more. In fact, I love houseplants so much, I turned my hobby into a career with my own plant shop. Whether you're plant obsessed or a total newbie, I'm here to help. Hey everyone, welcome back to Handmade. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Monstera Deliciosa, which is commonly referred to as the split leaf philodendron or Swiss cheese plant. It's a very popular house plant and is known because of its unique leaves and large size. We're gonna be talking about the basics of this house plant, how to make it thrive, and how to produce mini baby monsteras from your larger mother plant. So, let's get to it. This plant is a monster, literally. It is commonly found in Central and South America and is known to live in tropical rainforests. This plant is a hemiepiphyte, meaning that it actually grows on top of other plants. The holes in its leaves are called fenestrations, and in the wild, they actually help with wind resistance and drainage. The holes in the leaves also give this plant its very unique and iconic appearance. As a house plant, it doesn't get quite as large, but it's still big enough to make a huge statement. If you're wondering where to place your monstera, these plants love bright and direct light. It loves warmer climates and prefers the temperature to be around 65 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It doesn't like to be near drafts, but also it doesn't like full bright sun. The more bright light it gets, the bigger the holes in the leaves will develop. When to water your monstera depends on the seasons. In the summer, your monstera may need water once a week to once every two weeks because it's getting great sunlight and it's growing rapidly. Whereas in the winter, your monstera Monstera may only need to be watered once every three weeks because it's not the growing season. You know that your plant is thoroughly watered whenever rain droplets start to collect on the drain tray. There are also some visible signs you can tell when your plant needs to be watered because the leaves get really, really droopy rather than its healthy, happy, perky self. For more watering tips, go and check out my houseplant basics video that we'll link down below. In order to keep your plant in tip top shape, you might wanna give it a haircut. You wanna to start to prune leaves that are leggy, drooping, brown or yellowing in appearance. This is a sign that they need to go. And when you cut your leaves, it actually stimulates new growth. So it's a win-win for you and your plant. One of the coolest things about this plant is you can cut its leaf and make an entirely new monstera. The process is called propagation and it's not as hard as it sounds. When you propagate your monstera, go ahead and look at the stem and look for a node that is like a pimple on the plant. It's a little protrusion. And also, if you can, go ahead and find a root because this leads to a successful propagation experience. You want to cut below that root and below that node, stick it in some water, and wait two to three weeks for roots to develop. Look for roots that are about the size of your pinky, and then you know that it's ready to plant in some soil. This is a plant that was propagated a month ago. As you can see, it has a very extensive root system and is now ready to put in some soil. There are a few questions I get asked about this plant a lot. The first question is, why doesn't my monstera have any holes in its leaves? This is a very young monstera. You can tell that it's young because its leaf size looks like hearts and doesn't have any holes yet. However, when this plant gets around one, it'll start developing that iconic look with all of those fenestrations. The next question I get asked is, why are my monstera leaves yellowing? This is likely due to you overwatering it. When you see a yellow leaf, make sure that you prune it back and that your plant has good drainage. Also, make sure that your plant isn't sitting in water because monsteras don't like having wet feet. Another question I get is why is my monstera's leaves turning brown? This is likely due to the lack of humidity in your environment. In order to add humidity, you can add a diffuser, use a pebble tray, group plants together, or regularly mist your monstera. Now you know some basics about this lush tropical plant. Let me know in the comments what plant questions that I should answer next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!